These are some warm-ups for beginner string players. Based on last week, when I did lots of exercises with fidgeting fingers, rotating wrists, elevating elbows, all those things, we're now going to learn about putting them onto our instruments and being really, really aware while we're playing. So if you haven't done those exercises for a while, it's worth stopping this video and going back and having another go of them. So you can pick up your bow and you can pick it up with your, you're going to have your left hand and just hold it around about the middle or towards the middle of the tip. Okay, and I'm going to remember some of my exercises I did last week. So I've got my fidgeting fingers. Fidgeting fingers. Really, 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 really fidgety. Okay, and then I've got my big zombie hands. Okay, so I'm going to get my zombie hands and I'm going to put my zombie hands onto my bow. Okay, but now I'm going to get my fingers. I'm just going to give them a little bit of a fidget to make sure that they're not grabbing on now. Okay, so having a little bit of a fidget there. Okay, good. And now I'm going to send messages to bits of my hand. Okay, so I'm going to say, tap my pinky. Okay, and I'm not staring at my pinky. I'm going to tap my pinky and I'm going to, going to do all sorts of different things. But I'm still going to keep on tapping my pinky because when we're playing our instruments, we're not in the middle of a bow hold exercise. We've got to remember these things that we might do. But whilst we're playing, so I'm talking, but I'm still tapping my pinky. So you try and have a whole conversation about someone, or not about someone with someone. Talking about people's not nice, is it? So just have a conversation with someone and just keep that pinky tapping. Okay. Good. All right. And fidget some fingers. Good. And let's do some zombie hands whilst we're thinking whether it's nice weather outside, what we're having for our dinner, any of those things. But you, you're doing something else, but you've still got to do this. Okay. And get that nice bow hold again. Okay. Tap that pinky. Fidget those fingers. Okay. What is the weather like? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? What's going on? All right, so we might be playing something really, really hard in our music, but we've still got to make sure that our bow hold isn't grabbing on and feeling nice and relaxed. Well done. You can pick up your instruments now. Last week, we talked about having a noble neck. So that was just about feeling nice and proud, standing nice and tall, but just really, really moving that neck and keeping it free. Now, this is important whether you play an upper strings instrument, the violin or viola or cello and bass. Okay, we don't want tension in here. Okay, so whether you are playing like this with your cello or bass, you've got to keep that neck feeling really, really good. Or the violin or the viola, we put our instruments up. But sometimes it's great to just lift your head off and still feel that you can move it. Okay, so your shoulder is also supported. But you've got some freedom. We don't, we do hold Violins and violas, we do use the weight of our head to hold our instruments. We've got to really make sure that we don't end up... Oh. Okay, so we're just going to get our heads and we're going to play some open strings where we don't need to do fancy things here and we're just going to sometimes move our head from side to side. Now, while you're there, do you remember those fidgeting fingers? Let's just give our fingers a little bit of a fidget. So we're just remembering, are we feeling tense here? Are we feeling like our hand is really, really good? It's really, really nice and relaxed. Great. Really, really good. Some of the other things in the video were about having hula hooping hips. So let's do that. And we're gonna, I'm actually rubbish, totally rubbish at hula hooping because apparently this isn't really how you do it. But I'm imagining that I'm making a circle with my hips, okay, which isn't good hula hooping technique. But we're gonna do it for this, okay? So hula hooping hips, so get them going. You can try the other way around. Now, if you are a chalice or double bass and you're sitting down, maybe just stand up a little bit and have a little go of this. Okay, or if you're sitting down, feel like the rest of your body is hula hooping. Okay, so you're just keeping that nice action, those nice circles. Okay, great. So we're also going to do, we've done our hula hooping hips, we're going to do high heels. Now you can also do this if you're sitting down. You're just rocking onto the tips of your toes and then feeling your feet back down. Okay, so if you're sitting, 
doing some of those circles and then feeling your feet on the floor should start to make you feel really, really grounded. Remember though, all the time we've got this little elastic string that just keeps our bodies nice and upright. Good, okay, so let's just do our little hula hooping, our high, high heels, sit back down and let's have some more open strings just feeling really, really grounded. Excellent. So the last thing we're going to talk about is just some movements with these arms. Last week we talked about chicken wings, okay, or butterflies. Now it depends if you're an upper string, you're more of a chicken wing. I'm not saying that we're more like chickens and the lower strings are more like butterflies, but it's that sort of action. Okay, and we're just gonna put our bows. If you're a cellist or a bass, put your put your bow on the string and you're just going to be doing that nice action, keeping the shoulder nice and relaxed. We're gonna roll over the strings and violins and violas. We're gonna, so we're just all rolling. We're either doing our chicken wing or our butterfly arms. We're just rolling, okay? And while we're there, let's just pause. Let's do some fidgeting fingers. Let's do some noble neck. Let's do some high heels. Feel that you're really, really grounded. Some hula hooping hips. Good, let's do some more open strings. And close your eyes now and pick one of those things to do. You shouldn't know, but I'm doing hula hooping hips because you've got your eyes closed. That's my favorite one. Okay, so we're just remembering to be really, really conscious of the bits of our body and all the different important actions that they do that help us with our playing. Most of the time, if something is sounding horrible, it's because we've just got tense, something's happened to our body. So the best thing you can do is just go, oh, it's my hands, I can feel that it's gone really, really tight. Just gotta relax that, okay? And you'll find that things get better really, really quickly. So just stay really, really aware of those bodies. Practice those exercises, have loads of fun with them.